Hi everyone, Giuliano here. Finally, Microsoft Teams webinar is here. This is one of the biggest announcements made this year by Microsoft. With this new capability, a user can create a webinar in Microsoft Teams targeting only internal users or also external users. You don't need to pay for an extra license. This capability is included in the current Office and Microsoft 365 plans. You can create easily a webinar by setting up a registration page that can be used by attendees to register to the event. So they will get a confirmation email with the appointment that they can save in the calendar with the link that they can use to join the event later. This feature supports up to 10,000 view-only attendees, but Microsoft is working to expand this limit to 20,000. Okay, let's jump on my PC and I'll show you every step. Here I am on my PC and I have Microsoft Teams desktop open. Let's start to see how to create a webinar. All you need to do is click on Calendar. Then on the right next to New Meeting, there is a drop-down. Let's click on it. And here below, there are three items available, schedule meeting, webinar, and live event. Let's go with webinar. In this page, we can set up the webinar. First thing to do is decide the scope. Require registration for none, for people in your organization, or for everyone. By default, for everyone is disabled. That's the reason why before to set up the webinar, we have to see how we can play with properties and how we can enable all capabilities of this feature. Now we'll open PowerShell just to check some settings. So I will tap Windows key and then Easy. I will open now PowerShell as administrator. And here we go. Now I will open a script that I already used, Teams policies. Here we go. I will add in the description this script so you can easily reuse it if you want. Now, all you need to do is, first of all, install the Microsoft Teams PowerShell commandlet. If you already have a version installed, you can run the update module. Then you have to run this command to get the credential. Here we go. I added now my credential. I can click on OK and then I can run this other command in order to connect to my Microsoft Teams environment. Let's run this. Here we go. I am connected now to my tenant, more specifically to Microsoft Teams as admin, of course. Now I want to make available this capability to everyone in the company. Every user in the company must be able to create and set up a webinar. So for this reason, we will share and we will use the existing global policy in Microsoft Teams. Now, let me run this other command in order to check all properties which are part of the global policy. And here we go. Now I have all properties here up and running. So now we have to check important properties. So the first one is who can register. So as I said, by default, only internal users can register to a webinar. If you want to change this behavior, if you want to deliver webinar also outside of the company because maybe you have to present an important product or service to external partners and vendor. So all you need to do is change this property who can register to everyone. That means that you can run this command and then here you can set the property who can register and here you can set everyone here we go by doing that you can create a registration page where everyone outside of the company also can register the second important property is allow engagement report if you want to have a report about the engagement of attendees during the webinar i recommend you to enable this property so you will have file, an Excel file with all information that you need when an attendee has joined the webinar, when he or she has left and so on. And also in this case, all you need to do is run this other command, allow engagement report. 
Now we can see this property here in the global policy. Here we go. This one, allow engagement report is enabled. Okay, all set up. These are the commands that you have to run. As I said, you can find this PowerShell script in the description of this video. Okay, let's go back now to Microsoft Teams. I am now back in Microsoft Teams. Let's check the target. I want to target, as I said, everyone because I have to deliver an important webinar also outside of my organization. Next, I will Will set up the registration page and in order to do that i will click on the link view registration form this will open a new window in microsoft teams and here i can start to set an image as other i can type the title i can write a description of this webinar then i can add speakers and finally i have the ability to set fields that are required in order to register to this event. Let's start to set an image in the header. I will click on upload an image and here there is a description. These are the suggested image sizes 918 or 120. Let me click on upload an image now and here I will select an image that I already have on my PC. Here I can move this image so to better focus on the point where I want to. Then I can decide the, the zoom even so I have this zoom which is good. Okay then I can click on done. I have an header now. Let's go to the title. How to get the most out from Microsoft 365. Then let's determine a date, 20, this will be one hour of webinar, let me set 15 to 16, this will be a Microsoft Teams meeting, then I have to add a description, and I added also a description, this webinar will show you best practices in Microsoft 365. Then it's time to add speakers, I will be one of the speakers. Giuliano, De Luca, then I will insert a bio. I will add a second speaker now. And it will be Adele Vance. We have now a description also for Adele Vance. Let's go now on the right. Here we have a summary of all required fields in order to register to this event. We have first name, last name, and email. But now I'll show you something which is pretty cool. If I click on the plus button add field, I can add address, city, state, zip, country, region, industry, job title, organization, even custom question. For example, I can add input field or choices field. Let's go now and I want to add country region. For me, it's interesting to know where are based attendees. I will select required. Then I will add another field and this will contain organization. I want to know also what is the organization of the attendee and this will be also required. Finally, I will add the last one. Now, I will add a choice field because this will help me to know before the webinar what is the knowledge of my audience. Let's type here how much are you familiar with Microsoft 365. I am a pro. I am good. I don't know much. Okay, all good. I added all fields that I need for this registration page. Now I can save this page. So I will click here on the top left corner, save. Now this registration page is saved. If you want to promote this webinar in the social networks, you can copy this registration link and this will allow everyone outside my organization to register to this event because this form will be exposed publicly. Okay, I copied now this, this link. I can close this window and I can finish to set up this meeting. Next, I will add the title. Okay. Then I will have to invite all speakers. I will invite Adele Evans, which is the second speaker of this webinar. Finally, I can set the date. This will be delivered tomorrow. And I said 15 to 16 o'clock. There we go. The location, it doesn't matter because it will be a Teams meeting. I can add some description here for this meeting. Okay, I have a description now. I added every information for this meeting 
I can now send this meeting. And here we go. Now I have this meeting on my calendar and I send this meeting to the second speaker, which is Adele Vance. I am now in the browser in incognito mode. I will pass the link to the registration page that I copied before. Now I have the form available. So I will start to fill out this form. I added every information and I will set the last option. I don't know much. Let me click on register now. And now I am registered to this webinar. We sent a confirmation email. This is the email that I just got. I can save this appointment to my calendar and I have here the link to join immediately this event. I am back in the calendar of Microsoft Teams desktop. It's time to run this meeting. I will open this meeting and then I will click on the button join. And here we go, I am now in the meeting. It is always a best practice to join the meeting before the event starts so I can set up every meeting option necessary. For example, I can decide if people can bypass the lobby, I can set who can present, I have as a presenter my co-speaker Adele Vance. I can allow or disable MIG for attendees, which is absolutely important. I can enable reaction and so on. This is absolutely important. Now let me close and let's wait that attendees come in the event. Changing perspective as attendee, I will click now on the join event button in order to reach the webinar. I will follow this webinar directly in the browser, so I will click on continue on the browser. Next, I will click on the join now button. Back to the speaker view, I can view the lobby now. I can see how many attendees are coming to the webinar. So when I'm ready to deliver the webinar, I can admit every attendees by clicking on the right icon. And then just to enable late commerce to the event, I can change again meeting option and then I can change always let colors bypass the lobby. Here we go. Now I will end this webinar because I'll show you every report available for this event. Let me open again Microsoft Teams. I will close now this view and I will open again this webinar. Let's see every report. The first one is the registration report. I will click now on this icon. The download will start. I will open the download folder and now double click on this CSV Excel file. Let me expand every column so we can see better every information. I have all information related to the registration. I have full name, email, country, organization, status, registration date, and so on. Closing now this one, it takes some time for the second report about the attendees engagement. Luckily, I have another webinar, so I can open this one and I can show you that there is this attendance report. Let me click on it. The download start again, so we can see now this attendance report. And here we go. This is the information that you have. You have full name, join time, leave time, duration, email, and role. As a full disclosure, the registration page is available for normal meeting as well. So this means that if I create here a new meeting, I will have the option to target none people in your organization or everyone. If I select this, I will have the same registration form for normal meetings. All right, we have seen in this tutorial how you can set up a webinar in Microsoft Teams. If you enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is also how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye!